In this video, I'm going to show you how you can synchronize your Teams files with your device. First things first, we need to check that we have the right version of OneDrive installed. So going to the Start menu and typing in OneDrive. We're looking for the OneDrive app and it should have a yellow folder with a blue cloud next to it. I'm going to make sure that I'm signed in before I do this. So click on to start. And you can see that it's prompting me to set up OneDrive. If this window doesn't come up, you may need to locate the OneDrive cloud at the bottom right. If you don't have the right version of OneDrive, I'll post a link to where you can find it. If you can't install it, you may need to contact your IT tech or the service desk. And we'll just click on next. If it lets you know that a OneDrive folder already exists on this PC, you can click on use this folder. And then just continue to click on next. When it asks about setting up the mobile app, you can click on later. And once done, open my OneDrive folder. If you can see OneDrive in the File Explorer, you're good to go. So I'll close that now. Now in Teams, I need to find the team that I want to synchronize the files of. So we'll start off with this team here. So picking one of the channels, we go into Files. And from there, we've got the Sync button. Now, if you click on Sync, that will just synchronize that channel. So to demonstrate Sync, and now if I open up the File Explorer, I've got a new section that says Department for Education. It's got a blue building. And underneath, I've got my team. If I expand that, that's general. So that's just the general channel there. The reason why the files aren't showing up yet is because it's currently processing. So we can see we've got a number of different changes that are being downloaded. Now to get the entire team, I need to go into general, and then we can see we've got documents and then general. So I'm going to click on documents this time. And now we can see a folder for every channel. So we've got announcements, class notebook, forms, and so on. It is worth pointing out that owners is a private channel and there's no owners folder in here. So to synchronize all of these, I click on sync. And then I can go back into my folder. And now we can see that I've got the whole documents. So these are all my channels and general. So to remove general, if we click on Department for Education, where we've got the status column, this lets us know which folder is actively synchronizing. So we can see that documents is synchronizing, but general isn't. And that's because general is included in documents. So I can very easy right click and go to delete. And yes, I'd like to delete that folder. Please don't delete a folder that has the cloud next to it. The correct way to delete a folder with the cloud next to it is to stop synchronizing first. And I'll show you how to do that in a moment. So close that. Click out. And now I want to synchronize the owners channel. So we'll click on to owners, files, and sync. Now, when I bring up that Department for Education section again, you can see I've got my documents and my owners. To remove the owners folder, we can see that we've got the cloud there. So I need to stop synchronizing it first. So to do that, I go down to my blue cloud, help in settings, settings, and then we can see we've got three locations that are synchronizing. We no longer want owners, so I'll click on stop sync and stop sync again, click on OK. We can now see that owners doesn't have that cloud next to it. So I can click onto it, press delete, and safely remove that folder.